Hey everyone, Doug here again, and this is going to be my August 17th DVD and Blu-ray update. It's kind of a big one, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. <clears throat> this past weekend was the Fright Night Film Fest, and um, I had a lot of fun because uh, one of my buddies from YouTube actually came up. Uh, his name's Steve, but uh, his screen name is Slow Rider. And um, yeah, it was really nice meeting you, Steve. Um, everyone, please go to my uh, friends list on uh, my main page. He is the second, yeah, yeah, he's the second name down. Um, he's a really cool guy. Please go check him out. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. Um, just a really awesome guy. Uh, knows his horror movies. And, uh, yeah, it was really nice meeting you, Steve. And uh, hopefully in November, uh, me and you can, <coughs> sorry, me and you can hang out again and uh, go up to Cincinnati for the Horror Hound weekend. But uh, yeah, he's a great guy, so please check him out, subscribe to him, tell him a message, you know, tell him I said hey. Um, yeah, but uh, overall, great guy, and it was nice meeting you. Um, this shirt here, Motel Hell, got this over the weekend, plus I got uh, two others that I'm going to show off in the next video or something. <clears throat> but my next one will be a video on the convention and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on these DVDs and Blu-rays. <clears throat> First one here is the remake, remake, the original one, Last House on the Left. This is the collector's edition. Um, I had the old MGM one that was now discontinued, but this one has a lot more special features on it. And um, I heard, haven't got to watch it yet, but it has a better transfer. Uh, the picture quality on it is a little bit better. So if that is uh, true... Um, you know, please let me know or what you all think of this edition. The next one is Watchmen Director's Cut on Blu-ray. Um, this is one of my favorite films so far this year. Um, this is just a very well-made movie, very detailed. The action, the story, the acting, you know, everything about this movie I love. <clears throat> next one is Coraline. Um, very awesome movie. Um, you know, I hadn't really read anything about this movie before I even sat down to watch it, but me and Brian loved it. Uh, the animation's awesome. Um, so this is definitely one to pick up on Blu-ray because just because, you know, the animation and stuff. Um, this is the two-disc. It does come with 3D glasses. Uh, me and Brian didn't watch it in 3D. We just watched the, uh, the 2D version, but um, I'm sure I'll watch the 3D here soon. <clears throat> the next one here is Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, this is the two disc. I got this at Target. Um, it's fairly cheap. It was only like seven ninety nine or something, but it's you know loaded with special features and it's a two disc. It's got a little book in it and everything. But uh, yeah, Breakfast at Tiffany's, starring Audrey Hepburn. <clears throat> Next one here I got for seven ninety nine. It's Tracy Ullman in Tracy Takes On. I've never seen this show, but I do like Tracy Ullman. I think she's very funny. But uh, again, I got this for $7.99, and it's a whole season, season two. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> now, some of these here I haven't seen yet. Uh, this one says, The Epic Horrors, or The Epic Zombie Shocker, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, a.k.a. The Living Dead, The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. Um, I haven't seen this movie. I know that Jar's Shot has seen it. And I, don't think, I think he said he liked it. Um, but uh, I have not seen this yet, so, uh, you know, this is just the one disc. I, know, I think they believe they have a ten, but that's been discontinued for a while. <clears throat> so, Lit Sleeping Corpses Live. <clears throat> Next one is Kate Hudson in The Skeleton Key. Again, I haven't seen this movie. Um, yeah, I mean, I've heard some mixed stuff about it. Next one stars Ron Perlman and James Lee Gross. This is The Last Winter. Um, again, I don't know much about this movie. <clears throat> but uh, that cover I thought was pretty cool. The dead body and everything. <clears throat> Next one here, everyone's seen it. Uh, Jennifer Aniston and Warwick Davis, Leprechaun. Um, yeah, so everyone knows what Leprechaun is. <laughs> Uh, the next one here is the Artisan DVD release of Waxworks and Waxworks 2 on the same disc. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I've seen Waxworks. I've never watched Waxworks 2, so I don't know how well Waxworks 2 is. So, uh, let me know. 
Next one here is Knocked Up. Again, one I haven't watched yet. <clears throat> it's been out for a while though, but it's from the guys that did like Super Bad and Observe and Report and all that stuff. So I mean, I, I like a lot of those. So you know, this so next one here I got a Big Lots for like three bucks. Um, it's one that I've always seen the cover for, but not really ever you know did any research to, or even check it out. But uh, I actually I watched it. I thought it was pretty good. Private Parts. Um, a little out there. Uh, it's about this guy that's a little obsessive over this girl named Cheryl. So he gets a picture of her and sticks it to his blow up doll and like sleeps with it and you know cuddles up with it. It's just it's really weird. Um, but it was a pretty good little horror movie. <clears throat> and the last one here again I got this at Big Lots for about three bucks. Um, it always kind of reminds me of the Silence of the Lambs cover a little bit. Just when you see it, you'll know what exactly what I'm talking about. But it, um, it's got really good reviews, and I just it's one of those movies I've never seen. But it's Mute Witness. <clears throat> I always saw that cover, and I just kind of thought it always looked reminded. Me, it was, I guess it's the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. You know, something over the mouth. It just kind of reminds me of the you know Silence of the Lambs cover. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. That was my August 17th DVD and Blu-ray update. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, please leave me comments. Uh, let me know what you all thought of some of these movies. And definitely check back soon for my Fright Night Film Fest video. And uh, take it easy. And again, Steve, it was really nice meeting you over the weekend. And hopefully here soon in November, we can uh, definitely meet up again. So take it easy. And I will talk to everyone soon. Bye.